What is up guys, Redoubles back here with a brand new video, and today I want to play Flesh Ripper on Project Ascension League 4. It's really, really strong, really, really fun, it surprised me, we do a lot of high risk in this video, we get a lot of kills on people, and I try something a little bit different. I, for parts of this video, not the whole thing, am going to be using a face cam. What? Just let me know what you think. You will not hurt my feelings, but I'm just thinking about trying some new stuff because if I actually end up having good results with a face cam, this would lead to me streaming more. And also I think it would be better for longer playthroughs when I want to do different games sometimes, kind of like the Oblivion playthrough because it's just better to be honest with you. So let me know in the comment section below what you think. Be honest, like the video, but I hope you guys enjoy Flesh Ripper because it's really sick and let's jump right in. <laughs> All right, guys, I want to do a new build today, so I'm going to go to build draft, and we're just going to see what gets offered to us, and then uh, make something work with it, right? So let's go DPS. I don't really feel like being a tank or a healer anytime soon, to be honest with you guys. Okay, Solar Mage, Marksman, Arcane Thunder Seer, Boomer, Storm Giant. A lot of you guys said to play Storm Giant, and that that was really good, but let's just keep looking. We might come back. Berserker, Light's Blade, Shadow Mage. Searing Blade. Flesh Ripper. Okay. I think this might have to be the one we try. Edge of Fury. It says rely on overwhelming fury to annihilate your enemies, right? You have a maximum rage of 500 now. Backstab gives 100 rage when it's used. By the way, Backstab was changed recently. Now on NPCs, creatures and stuff, right? You don't actually have to be behind the target. Only on players do you have to be behind the target. So that makes Backstab like brain dead easy to play with now. Kind of like using Mutilate in some ways. So this is a lot better than it looks right off the bat. It also has Revenge Synergy and also Heroic Strike Synergy. Well, I get Spiteful Strike and Blind Revenge from having those, right? So Blind Revenge is usable after using Backstab. It's a finishing move. It does damage to everybody. Wow, dude. And and uh, it gives me Edge of Fury. Edge of Fury makes Killing Spree do more damage against monsters. That's pretty cool. And then Spiteful Strike says it does instant damage to the enemy and grants Edge of Fury again. Costs 500 Rage. So that's the point of increasing the cap, right? And if cast when Edge of Fury is fully stacked, it triggers another baby killing spree. So there's going to be a lot of killing. Dude, I've got to do this, dude. I, I got to do Flesh Ripper, dude. That's cool. So we start off with Heroic Strike and Backstab. Let me real quick show you what I mean. So watch, like I'm in, uh, I'm going to be in front of the target, right? And oh, are you joking, brother? Are you joking? Okay, uh, I guess, I guess he's not. Oh, are you joking? Holy crap, dude. Dude, are we, dude, leave some trogs and wolves for the rest of us. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, in front of this guy. It actually did damage, unbelievable. Okay, that's a really crazy change. I bet you it was done specifically for this spec, although it's also a nice quality of life change. See, in front of, boom, it does damage, wow. Okay, I think we're set, dude, I think we're set. So what I'm gonna do now is go get my aura and stuff like that. We're gonna get to 60. We're gonna see if we can find some high-risk fights, though. Also, let's see when we actually get the good stuff, so... I get Inducing Trauma, which is allowing Backstab to refresh Rend, okay. And I get that at 15. I get Edge of Fury itself at 20. I get something I've never seen before called Power of Omens at 32. Increases the chance to trigger Omen of Clarity by 75%. What the hell? And allows it to trigger a lesser Omen. Omen of Clarity is typically a very strong effect with such a low proc chance that you're gambling. So you might see it with like Fan of Knives builds or something like that. As you can see though, it's typically, it looks like a, what, 6% chance of making your next spell free. But they decided with this one to make it an 81% chance to make your next spell free. And it gives you a lesser Omen as well. So Omen of Fatality and Increases the critical strike chance of your rage abilities by 12%. Triggers after consuming Omen of Clarity with an energy ability. Dude, this was built for this spec. And then Omen of Harm. Increase the damage of your energy abilities by 8%. Triggers after consuming Omen of Clarity with a rage ability, which is Heroic Strike. Or the new version of it. Dude, this was literally made for this spec. And then we get Blade Vortex, by the way, at 45. And I have played with this one before, so you need Blade Flurry for it. And after using something that consumes combo points, you're just going to do a little bit of AoE damage around you. It's pretty good. It also only works with one hand weapons, which is a dagger. So, okay. Just like the Warden build, this one seems like it was fine-tuned to be viable. And that's exciting. So, we're gonna go to Stormwind in about 30 seconds when my Hearthstone comes back off cooldown, because currently my actual Hearthstone isn't freaking lock mode on from when we did the initial hardcore challenge on this guy. And yeah, we're gonna see if we can make this build work. Alright, cool. So, we are level 7. Now, you might be asking yourself, why now? Why at randomly 56,000 subs do I want to use a face cam? Um, I might not. Let me know if you don't like it. Like the video regardless, but let me know in a comment if you don't like the face cam stuff. The main reason is because I'm thinking about streaming. 
I mean, really doing it. Because there are games I want to play, like, so badly. Like, for example, I mentioned Fable a couple of videos ago. Fable's a really damn good game made back in, like, 2005. It's just, these games are not good for videos. They're just not good. Because they're long, you need to really sit there and play the game, actually, and think. They're not good for jump cuts and stuff like that. Uh, it'd be fine to post a stream VOD or something like that and just let that be out in the void. But overall, those are the kind of games you want to stream live. And just relax and chill and not care too much. So that's what I'm thinking of, right? That's what I'm thinking of. Um, so if I do want to do that, I have to uh, actually get used to using a cam. Now the thing is, I had... Let me tell you guys a quick story. I had really long hair for about five years. Okay? Five years. So I had a man bun and stuff like that. I really liked it. I felt like I was pulling it off. But because of like depression and stuff like that, I wasn't taking care of myself properly. And I decided to cut my hair, which is why I have short hair right now. I did this about a month ago. I'm not used to this, okay? I've never even had a beard before when I had long, uh, short hair. That's the thing. Ooh, charge. Okay, I'll take that. So that gives you an idea of how long, how much of a child I was the last time I had short hair because I couldn't grow a proper beard back then. Now, I have to constantly shave. You know what I mean? It's, it's like an actual burden. But that's not the point, dude. The point is that uh, I got to get used to looking at my myself you know i gotta get used to looking at myself if i'm gonna stream because you know i've gotten used to my voice you know believe it or not everyone knows this if you've ever tried recording before making videos streaming stuff like that you have to get used to your voice if you don't get used to your voice it's gonna be cringe as hell when you edit and i've done over 550 videos at this point and i love my voice you know when i edit and stuff like that it doesn't bother me one bit so you know there's that there's some perks to using face cam you know number one i think if you uh make videos with a face cam I'm not gonna say that I'm gonna reduce this, but I'm, I'm gonna be very honest. I think if you make videos with the face cam, ooh, eviscerate, by the way, uh, it takes less skill because I'm talking YouTube exclusively because then you don't have to be as good at editing because you could just like do like this, you know, like show your face and stuff all the time. Um, I think that makes it a lot easier, but that's not why I'm doing it, you know what I mean? I also think it makes everything a lot more personable, you know, a lot more personable. You can see the man behind the McDouble, <laughs> so. We'll see how that goes. But we're level 10 right now. We're going pretty fast. My guild guild named itself. They changed it, rather. It used to be called the QD Cartel. I always pick a troll guild that's out there, and I join it randomly before anybody knows my name. But they renamed the guild Cute. So now, when you see me, it just says cute. It's true. I mean, look at the MOG. The MOG is good. The MOG is high tier. You know what I mean? It's one of the better MOGs on the server. Not very many people can step up to me with my MOG game. People have tried. You know, you could try to be elitist about it, but you know it's true. Like, I have probably the strongest MOG game on Project Ascension. It, it's really not close, and I'm not even trolling. A lot of you guys think I'm trolling right now. I'm not trolling. I really do have one of the strongest MOG games on Project Ascension. I make things work, you know? And I enjoy it. I don't dress in real life, as you guys can see. So, I gotta dress in-game, brothers. I gotta dress in-game. Okay, but anyway, backstab, heroic strike, slice and dice, eviscerate so far. Not bad, not bad. Ooh, vitality? Really, already? How's that? Oh, I got a rare mystic enchant early on? Increases energy regeneration, so I guess we'll keep stacking that. They're putting me into opportunity as well, which is up to 20% more backstab damage. That's not bad. I really just wonder how this build's gonna play in PvP, because like, I already have this very strong feeling that in PvP, it's not gonna be as good. But in PvE, it's gonna be pretty good. That's like my thought. We could just queue for a BG and see if we can make this work. You just go in. Why not? There's no way this is gonna be good, right? But we can give it a try. I've got Warren. Oh, shit. I'm still using white daggers. That's not good. I should have bought something before I went in here. It might not be good, but we'll see if we can kill somebody. My team is losing, of course. Like, holy shit. Smelly boy with 20 KB. How the hell does that even work, dude? McDoubles is here to save the day. No, brother. No, I'm not, dude. I have white daggers. Ooh, this guy is low HP. Oh, God. Oh, God. The damage. Oh, I'm getting one shot. Oh, God. Oh, he's gonna rocket blast me. No! Oh, dude, you failed bad. What the hell was that? Yo, that's embarrassing, Barupiko. What the hell? Why would you do that? Yeah. He's gonna chase me to the ends of the earth. It's like freaking uh, Uther and Arthas. To the ends of the earth! The ends of the earth if I have to. Do you hear me? To the ends of the earth! Brother, please. Look at these guys. <laughs> Chasing me. Oh, dude. Oh, no. Just charge back. Just get that root off for a hot second. This is not going to go good, guys. Why is everybody coming for me, dude? Come on. I want to play the BG like a normal human. Look at all these people. Look at all these people, dude. This is... I'm, I'm just getting one shot, dude. I'm going to come back, dude, with actual gear. I swear on God. Okay, there we go, by the way. Level 12. Relentless strikes. Recuperate. That's interesting. I can heal myself. Oh, my God. I... I can heal myself now when I get combo points for that. And I get more energy after spending combo points and a little bit more armor pen. Look at this little stinker. Look at him, little sick Nibunu, 285 HP. 
I hate that I'm actually gonna lose fairly to him, dude. I actually hate that I'm gonna lose fairly to this guy. Oh God, come on. Okay, that wasn't fair, but honestly, like it is what it is. I can't play the game like normal, not gonna lie, dude. Not gonna lie. Can I charge in and actually get a kill? And can I get some XP? No. Oh wait, no, I'm a freaking, oh God, no, I'm a gnome. Oh, and he got HP up. Oh, and everybody's gonna charge me and I'm gonna die. Oh God, recuperate, please, for all the, for the love of all that's good and holy. Can I charge this one guy? Oh, and I hit, oh. Okay, well, at least we gained another level here, level 13. I got precision as an enchant, right, for 2% more hit and more relentless strikes. Okay, let's get some gear, dude. Let's get some gear. It's inappropriate. All right, I can go a uh, double chanting blade. That's as good as I can go for right now. 24 on the high end. I'm apparently strength, by the way, in terms of my primary stat. Auction house is bugged out, dude. I have to reload. If your auction house bugs, just slash reload. It wins every time, basically. You know, I just realized sometimes people don't know where I'm from. And this says American. Just, oh God, I should not have done that, dude. That was fucked. Don't put that in the video. Okay, this is nothing too crazy. It's just like, there's not that much on the auction house. There was a lot actually like a week ago, but it's all getting bought out. There's a lot of low level stuff going on right now on the server. So we're just gonna have to be happy with this. Double chanting blade hopefully carries me. Let's just queue again, dude. Let's queue again and see if we do good. Okay, a Rothy Basin. Uh, this already started. We are losing a freaking course, dude. Okay, can I actually beat? Oh God. 942 HP. What the hell, dude? How's that even possible? You're level 19. Dude, I have 388 right now. Look, people are attacking him and he still hasn't quit targeting me. That tells that's the story of my life. Can I actually kill this guy with a 50 of 47 right there? Eviscerate. It didn't do a lot of damage. Dead. Can I kill Bappy? Wait a second. Did I actually forward backstab him? No, I'm gonna die. It's gonna be brutal. I'm gonna recuperate. Yeah, I died. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. Dude, it's fine. I'm fine. I'm only losing her. Oh, double cap out of nowhere? Into me stealing farm? Is that the comeback? Even though I fell off the cliff? Nobody spawns here. I, I cap farm? Oh, shit. Oh, it's a baby. It's a little baby from Universium. Everyone knows the people from Universium are the cutest on the server, dude. Oh god, I'm doing no damage. Wait, am I frontward backstabbing this guy? I am. It's working in PvP. It's working in PvP. If it works in PvP, that's nuts, dude. And I just got rend. Nice. I mean, it's not that good right now, but oh god, here comes the uh. Yep. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, you know what? That does uh give us a, a little bit more points right now, or like it prevents them from getting points for a hot second. I cannot believe I'm frontward backstabbing in PvP. I was told. It's not supposed to work like this in PvP. Must be behind the target if it is a player. Yeah, I guess it's not working right, or I don't know. I mean, <laughs> the video kind of tells them I don't have to submit a bug report. They're, they watch, or maybe it is supposed to be this way. You know, on Dusthaven, he consistently did not fix tooltips for things despite changing things. So you just, you know, you kind of had to accept it the way it was, however that might be. So I'm gonna go to blacksmith while they're fighting. I'm, just, I'm still not that strong, and so I hold by my uh, strategy, which is to just always play the objectives when you're weak as hell. Just help this person. Go for this Stella person. Go for a rend. Teammate just died. This person's dead too. Go for a rend. Eviscerate, why not? Yeah, I'm frontward backstabbing, guys. That's not supposed to happen. This guy's dead. All right, turn around. Cool guys, don't look at explosions. Charge you. Rend. Eviscerate. Backstab. Dead. Nice. <laughs> Oh, cap it, my friend. We just got inducing trauma, by the way. Backstab refreshes the duration of rend. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, I'm gonna die here. It's gonna be a horrible death. Yeah, instant dead. It's not bad, though. We're not doing too bad. So here's the play, guys. Everybody's going for mines. A couple people are going for uh, blacksmith. I am going to go straight for lumber mill because the assumption is going to be that because of these two attacks, the enemy team is going to focus on these two areas and they're going to assume, similar to how I'm assuming personally, that stables is safe, that lumber mill is safe, but it's not because I'm going there right now. It's the big, you know, uh, 47D chess plays that really win you these BGs, man. Especially when your gear sucks donkey balls, dude. All uh, right, here, here comes somebody. They are beatable. I can tell solely off HP. Yeah, they're not coming. They know. Maybe they don't see me too, by the way, because I'm a freaking gnome. Now I go to blacksmith and try to cap that while nobody's there. Just be as annoying as possible. I see this guy. Can I beat that guy? No, I can't. I can beat you. Well, I mean, theoretically, I could beat you. Oh, shit. Everybody's coming. Look at all these people. Oh my god, they're just having a field day with my ass, dude. It feels awful. A little bit. Kind of liked it, but you know, it's fine. Let's go for Joe Blogs. What do you blog about, dude? Let me know. Can we go for the double charge? Remember, we refreshed uh, uh, Rend, actually. He's gonna go for the cap. He has to go for me. Yeah, he's dead. Rest in peace, Joe Blogs. Thank you for Blacksmith. It feels good. 
Nice. Maybe we can turn this around, dude. Maybe we can actually turn this around. They have like that one big guy, Zonks, with way too much HP for the bracket. And I think that's it. Like if they didn't have him, they'd be real far behind, dude. I'm going to go for a recuperate off that. Gnome Racial off the uh, Frostbolt slow and run away. Thank you for the heal. Oh, yeah. This is like that uh, that thing from... Uh, I'm not Fantastic Four. What is it? Oh, uh, Avengers, you know? When like, you have one army and then they have the army of evil. It's like Avengers assemble, you know? And then I charge Karmir, except I'm out of range, actually. So I just ruin the entire meme. I can charge Joe Blogs, though. Come on. There we go. Random. Charge you. Never feel safe in life. Never feel safe. Run away because I'm going to die if I don't. I have recuperate up. It's the best I can do. Do I get a heal? I have the recuperate. The recuperate's a heal. It's not a good one right now. It's plus four. Somebody is healing me. I'm going to go for the rend. Go for another recuperate. It's all I've got, dude. Backstab. Yeah, I died. Joe Bloggs got revenge, dude. Make the jump onto the barrel. Nope. Okay, never lucky, dude. Never lucky, never good, never lucky. Exactly what I was hoping would happen. You never go full word I'm not allowed to say because it's not PC anymore. You know what I mean? Um, you have to have at least one dude defend. At least one. Just one. Just one. I've been watching a lot of... Uh, never mind, it's not worth it. Can I kill this guy? Okay. Oh, shit. Rest in peace. Drain I have an awesome death animation. I guess I guess they're gonna see it a lot if they play Drain I. Okay, so they went for mines, and uh here's the thing. Dude, I love your video so much. Love you, bro. I love you a lot. Uh, I'm gonna go for mines because the implication with their team is that they're not gonna defend shit. And plus they're in um Ooh, it's Zonk. Uh, they oh he sees me. Why do you always have to see me, dude? He would go for me. I can't have any fun, dude. I can't. The dude with way too much almost uh more than twice my HP, which is like an order of magnitude of power level. He goes straight for me as soon as he sees me. But anyway, the implication is that they're not defending mines and so I can go for it. Holy shit, I wish I was wrong, but I'm not. Look at this. It's actually sad. Like, <laughs> it's actually... Oh shit, somebody is here. Well, that's my mistake. All right, gnome racial. Eviscerate's coming up. I have a relentless off that, which is more energy. Nice. Nice, dude. What's my score with this gear? Oh, okay. At least we're up there, you know? I'm trying my little gnome hard out to win this, dude. So is it four bases assaulted now? Yeah, and one base defended. So I have the most and then equal to the most for defended. Yeah, okay, they got blacksmith, sadly. It's probably Zonk. That dude's too strong. He could take three people by himself with that power level, dude. Okay, can I jump on this box? Yes, and then jump on this log, which is, yeah, it was almost. Damn it, he always sees me. You know what? If I can actually get this guy to chase me. Yes, see that guy? No slow? Lol, no slow. He's playing Storm Giant, I think. You won't kill me with that, right? Nope. That's okay. That's okay. Because he literally just let his team lose. Just so he could kill me. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Just so he could kill me. He let his whole team loose. Wow. Wow, dude. I'm so happy this went the way that it's going. I, I really am. Look at that. That's a win. That's a win with improved heroic strike times two in the healing wave as well. I will take it, dude. And sprint and puncturing wounds. How many levels did I get? Up to 19. Four levels. So I got more crit with backstab, which is bug. Nice, dude. Holy crap. Nice. Uh, this is about to get nutty, dude. This is about to get nutty because of the backstab. Frontward facing backstab in PvP. It should not work that way, but it is. And I'm going to enjoy the hell out of it. Let me just tell you that. And we got a healing wave as well, so I can actually heal. Oh my god, dude. Now, because I'm 19, I can put on Armor of the Fang, which I got from one of these, uh, well, one of these, actually, the Battleground Spoils. I can go Strength. Silver Linked Foot Guards, I'll take that. Cave Dweller Bracers, already have that. Protector's Band, I'll take that. Cool thing, too, by the way, is that when you play a build draft, like, that had a Legendary Enchant on it, but it doesn't matter anymore because I'm playing build drafts, and when I put something on, the Enchant goes away. And I really like that. I could put on the Sentinel's uh, Medallion as well. I can put on the Butcher Slicer in my offhand. Why not? Better stats. And can I get a better dagger now? Because the dagger is what matters. Because the actually, I could buy a Sentinel Blade. I can go to the PvP shop. This is going good, dude. This is going good. Yeah, so the PvP shop's going to give me a sick dagger. It's going to give me another ring. Um, It's going to give me a trinket. Actually, I already have mine, right? No, I have a 58 one. Okay, I'll buy another one. Yeah, dude, we are going to be strong, dude. I'm going to check the auction house for more legs and stuff. In fact, there might be... No, there's not going to be any pre-20 stuff for uh, a Rothy Basin, probably. So anyway, yeah, we'll, we'll go back to the auction house and just see if we can get better stuff for the leg slot and maybe the glove slot. All right, Silverwing Sentinel Dude Veteran. Give me one of the... Thank you. Sentinel Blade. Thank you. Put that on. That's a big, big upgrade. We could put this other ring on. Another massive upgrade. Talk to the Quartermaster. Alliance Insignia. That's actually a big upgrade. It lets me break stuns and uh, CC. If you don't have this, you're at a huge disadvantage right now. I have 40,000 honor, by the way. What the hell? That's a lot of honor right now. Okay, we'll think about what to do with that some other day. I'm actually just going to sell stuff real quick, guys. And yeah, we're going to keep on leveling. Should be pretty good. The next day. All right, guys. Brand new day. Getting back on the guy. Let's make it happen. Okay, so the last time I was on here, I recorded very quickly with a camera. 
cam. I showed my members it. I got their opinions on it. I'm going to finish this video with the cam as a result of what they said. You guys, public obviously watching this, the rest of you, you can let me know in the comment section below what you think. So we did some BGs last time. We found out that frontward backstab actually works, which is just ridiculous. Um, okay, what do I want to do though? Okay, I think I do know what I want to do and I just want to see if I can get into some high-risk fights and abuse that forward-facing backstab to the, you know, degree that that's relevant. Um, so I'm gonna go to Red Ridge and see if we can find some high-risk over there and then after that maybe a little bit of Duskwood when we get some more levels. I think we'll just power level to 60 after that and see how this works out at max. Alright, there we go by the way. Level 20 means Edge of Fury, guys. Edge of Fury means I can actually play this spec properly. And we got Puncturing Wounds and Revenge as well. So the Revenge is gonna be a brand new ability. So I believe we already went over exactly what this is gonna end end up doing but for now i'm going to actually get uh blind revenge usable after using backstab finishing move so it's like my eviscerate okay and also my backstab gives me a hundred rage now every single use that's crazy dude here it is by the way blind revenge prioritize that over the eviscerate oh i have the spiteful strike as well already Ooh, okay what the hell instant damage oh it requires rage i remember now i remember now so i need rage for this so i want to use this as soon as i get 500 rage holy crap if i can make this happen in pvp at this level <laughs> Oh my god, that's gonna be ridiculous, dude. It's actually gonna be unfair. So I'm gonna check all over Red Ridge and just look for- Oh, a dead condor. Now you might wonder who cares, right? Who cares about a dead- I do. Because it means somebody could be here. High-risk players, as far as I can see, tend to be phased in with other high-risk players. Although I don't exactly understand how it works. But uh, this implies that this might be a high-risk person. <gasps> Best day of my life. Charge! Nice! Backstab. He's, he's just realizing it. Keep backstabbing. I, I need combo points. I need combo points for my big ability. I want rage as well. Come on, this is actually gonna be it. This is actually gonna be it, dude. Oh my god, here it is. This one? Charge? Look at this, I just used it 174. I didn't see a baby killing spree. Do I need killing spree to make it happen? Dude, is he like healing somehow? Oh my god, we won. Oh my god, we found somebody in one, dude. Oh god, that feels good. And we got Omen of Clarity. He had four levels on me, dude. Four levels on me. God, that feels good. Okay, so this actually ended up working pretty decently, not gonna lie. Oh sh- Oh no! He was a hardcore! He was a high-risk hardcore player. Because remember, you can't just attack them randomly. So he was high-risk hardcore. I did not know that when I attacked him. Four levels on me as well. And now everybody's saying things like dubbed, killed by McDoubles. McDoubled. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, brother. I'm sorry. That is the worst that can happen, dude. That is literally the worst that can happen to you. Ah, uh, okay. Well, let's look for somebody else. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I did not see a baby killing spree off this, uh, spiteful strike right here. If cast when Edge of Fury is fully stacked. What is Edge of Fury again? Maybe that's why I messed it up, maybe. Increases the damage of killing spree up to five. Finishing move that deals damage and gives me Edge of Fury. Oh, wow, dude. I would have to, like, blind revenge five times. So I would want to use a bunch of, like, one points, I guess. Maybe that's the strategy for something like that. Oh, man. Somebody might actually randomly be here. The iron men are gonna hide and the hardcores are gonna hide you know so like <gasps> all right he's my level he's my level let's go in backstab let's let's actually go for this blind thingy that we're trying rend or we like keep using it and try to get stacks uh-oh 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 no damn i had pots okay so i tried to fight this guy he has a lot more hp than me though and i didn't use my pot and so i did lose but i think i might actually be able to beat him it does make me a little sad i feel a little bit weak even on the last fight i felt a little bit weak but uh we're not quitters you know what i mean the thing is stacking up that edge of fury just feels damn near impossible to do right oh i even had the healing wave oh i'm so low tier it's been a while since i played this guy at least a couple days i'm also shaking I'm shaking. Dude, I just realized how red it looks because I'm in Red Ridge right now. So it's like glaring right on me, dude. All right, I do think we go back for the fight. So let's just go back in once again. Let's see if we can beat him this time. Into the rend, backstab, edge of fury. I want to get stacks. I want to get stacks. There we go there we go there we go nice i will take that dude i will take that and he had 100 more hp than me too we actually beat him that time Ooh. <laughs> Just look, I, I know he's not happy about it, but you have to understand something. When you play, look, I literally have an unmade playthrough where I did an Iron Man hardcore mode and I got slaughtered by a guy with four levels on me and I accepted it as fate because I went into it with hardcore Iron Man. You literally have to select hardcore PvP Iron Man or hardcore to make that happen. 
You can't just get killed by people in Iron Man mode if you don't want the option to be killed by people in Iron Man mode. I'm pretty confident that's true. Or at the very bare minimum, you have to select high risk mode on. So there's that as well. So you're choosing it no matter what. Because Ascension has three ways to play, just so you guys know. Just so no one thinks like, oh, McDoubles is picking on people that don't want to fight other people. I'm not, right? Because uh, Ascension has PvE mode, PvE, PvP, which means you have to turn it on if you want to fight people. Um, and you don't drop loot, I believe. And then high risk mode, which is what I am actually encountering people in which is why they drop little chests when they die so this is fair game it's free xp for me as well and it's content so i'm liking this dude and plus he had a gear advantage on me all right this brutal guys that's brutal i did want to find some high risk fights for the video though so so far so good you can see i can't go back into red ridge because i am an outlaw right now so that's you know that's something but maybe we can go to duskwood and find some people soon as well okay so i am realizing something about this spec so if you look closely spiteful strike actually does give me a stack of edge of fury this is key because what this theoretically means is I only have to use Edge of Fury on four stacks. If I use it on four stacks, I'll have five. I'll proc the lesser killing spree. That might have just happened, but uh, I actually need to make a weak aura. So we have to make a weak aura to track the Edge of Fury stacks. Okay, there you go. So I have a weak aura tracking Edge of Fury stacks now. So on four, I can go for a spiteful strike. Damn, guys, I just realized something bad. I think I actually am losing max level gear. So I have to put this in my bank real quick. I think I literally lost some of my max level gear. So I actually have no retreat, so I can't go B for another minute. But once we do that, we'll plop all this stuff in the bank real quick that's a big f though dude that's definitely a big f i just realized that the people i killed are going to be memorialized on the map so you can always know like who did mcdoubles kill oh it's this guy up here and that guy down there that's brutal dude it literally says killing blow was a 315 spiteful strike damn does it tell me that for everybody it does wow dude who, what about this it was a 55 backstab wow oh it tells you who killed him it tells you who killed him dude that's actually sick you have to admit that, that that's actually really sick okay i like that a lot by the way there's omen of clarity once again and now battle stance which is allowing my ren to crit and gives me more armor pen which is just super good i don't think i ever eviscerate so i'm gonna change my bars up a bit we're gonna try something like this maybe so the idea is like w e w e w e go for the r at the beginning for the rend and then go off for that spiteful uh, strike whenever we get the stacks. Okay, I have four stacks right now. Let's go for the uh, thing and see if it works. Oh my god. Okay, I found somebody. I found somebody. Are they killable? Potentially. Let's charge them. Rend. Backstab. Blind revenge. Sprint because he's running away. Backstab again. Backstab again. Blind revenge. Backstab again. Just go for the... Oh, I can't. Blind revenge. Nice. Got him. Got him. So that was a level 27. And I got Omen of Clarity right there, dude. Nice. Nice, dude. He had a lot of levels on me, by the way. That was four levels on me. Look at this, dude. Look at this. McDoubled, McDoubled, McDoubles. <laughs> oh my god. It feels so good. It feels so good. All of you are playing hardcore, so when I show up and kill you when you're playing in PvP mode, it shows everybody, dude. That is, this is awesome, man. This, ooh, this is awesome, dude. Okay, I think I've killed literally everybody here that I can kill. So, like I said, we're gonna go to Booty Bay in six minutes, five minutes. You know what the crazy thing is, though? I'm gonna check Duskwood real quick before we go since we have five minutes. But the crazy thing is that I don't actually care if I'm killing hardcore Iron Men right now. Like, it's not that I don't care as if I don't care about their feelings or something. But what I mean is... I want to find people to fight in general. It just happens to be everybody is a hardcore or an Iron Man right now. So it's not like I'm hunting Iron Man and hardcore, just so you guys know. I do like what's happening with it popping up in the chat when I kill him and stuff. That's cute. That's nice. That's fun. It's not the point though. Anyway, I have four minutes, like I said. So I'm going to patrol this northern part of Duskwood, maybe the uh, part right here where you can kill Worgen. <coughs> 15 minutes later. Okay, so here's the thing. The only logical place that uh, any Horde would be in this general area is right here to the leftmost part of the Legion invasion and or in the little Dwarven area right below the Legion invasion. I'm going to check both spots. Guys, this dude's name is Mick Quintipples. <laughs> what? I'm running all over the Barrens right now. I can't find anybody, guys. I, I can't. I'm trying real hard, but I can't find anybody, dude. Maybe it's time to start leveling like normal again. I don't know. Okay, guys, there's absolutely nobody here. So I'm going to go right back to Red Ridge, I guess. Totally just missed a kill. Makes me so sad, dude. Didn't have the mic near me or anything. Had no idea that guy was going to run past me. Hey, here's a guy. I told him, wake up, dude. We have to fight. Come on, man. I can't attack you like this, dude. Wake up. What a joke, dude. What a joke. It's not content if you AFK, dude. And therefore, I will not kill. Why are you AFK in high risk, brother? See, I'm not as soulless as you think. All right. All right, Jargon. Rest in peace, my son. Will he be able to kite me? Ah, uh, he's not even trying. Damn, that's brutal. Okay, I got loot off that guy. Yes, it's actually good. Silver Lane's family seal. 
6 strength, 3 stamina, and resilience. That's better than 4 Agi. 4 Agi doesn't do anything for me right now. Okay, I will put that on. Nice, we actually got something good. Okay, that guy wasn't hardcore or Iron Man or anything like that. He was resolute, but that doesn't mean much, right? He still gets to keep playing the game. Now that I've killed him though, I'm not gonna go for him again. That's my rule. So there's actually a hot spot right now. And when you find a hot spot in the open world, it gives you 100% bonus XP. Some of the times this can actually be used by different Iron Man and hardcore characters as well. Nobody's here, but I'm getting a massive amount of XP for killing these guys. I'm gonna get at least one more level and get to 25. I think this is gonna dramatically open up the ability for me to go to Duskwood. The odds of somebody being here are near zero. It's such in a weird place of Red Ridge. And uh, there's a rare up there, I believe as well. If it's not a rare, it was for a quest, but it doesn't really matter. XP is XP. Now, one thing to keep in mind, by the way, about Blind Revenge, it looks to be like a cleave, so you can actually miss it. That's very interesting. Let me show you what I mean. So if I go up to this guy and face away, I miss, right? So it's like right in front of me that I actually have to uh, nail the blind revenge. Okay, there we go, guys. And I got kick. Wow. For the casters, dude. That's going to be insane. So I have an interrupt and they gave me improved revenge as well. So that's increasing the damage of blind revenge, I guess. Yo, this is going to be massive, dude. Like this is actually a lot better for PvP than I thought it was going to be. I don't know if it's going to stay that way at max because we all know that like 1 to 59 is a whole nother ball game than 60. But this is pretty good so far, dude. This is pretty good. All right, guys, I've been looking all over every zone now for, I would say, about an hour and a half. I cannot find anybody else. Honestly, it's almost like when they saw me kill people, they were like, nope, and they just noped out of high risk or logged off. So we might just, you know, have to quit trying to look for people at all. I'll check one more time in Duskwood, I guess, and uh, we'll just start leveling. Oh, wow, look at that, guys. So we actually have a spec that utilizes Grappling Hook. That's very interesting. So Grappling Hook has an enchant that eventually would give me more damage with Backstab. It's not part of this spec, but it's a concept, right? So I'll take that. So I have even more uh, ways to close a gap. And I got it at 28. So we can take a look at this real quick. Although we did look at it in my video when I went over all the new abilities. But here it is. So I can use it. Not bad. Not bad. 30 second cooldown's kind of low. I'll take it. Yeah, I'll definitely take that. <laughs> So that guy was literally, literally, but because look at this real quick. Look at this. This one guy that says rude. That guy I just killed was literally a high risk Iron Man. That was his debuff. It was high risk Iron Man. I'll take that, yo. I will take that. Feels good. Level 28, just like I said uh, last time we leveled up. Okay, so with that kill, I actually just got some new gear. Uh, so now we can finally dominate the universe. That's always been the plan. Uh, it just hasn't really worked so well up to this point, but I think now we might actually be able to succeed. I mean, I got some crazy bangers here. Frost Weaver Crown, that's 150 HP, damn near for nothing. Freaking Dream Singers Leggards, Highlander's Male Girdle, Algae Fists. I even got shoulders for the first time. So this is a big deal. We're gonna put all this stuff on. New Dagger as well, by the way, just a better version of what I had before. So these are massive upgrades, and this is good because the competition's about to get a lot fiercer now that we're level 29, bordering 30, you know? Now, I will look for more fights, but the bare minimum that will end up happening is more BGs and more dungeons. Just trying to get to level 60 because I know this video is already really long, but I haven't given you guys a really long one in a while. So plus, if I'm honest, I'm having a lot of fun. All right, here we go, guys. Quick uh, power of omens at level 32 here in a dead mine. So now I finally increased the chance to trigger omen of clarity by 75%. I just don't understand how that's going to be balanced at all, but I guess we're going to give it a try. Maybe for the rest of this dead mines, we'll see if it works right. So let's see, do I proc it? I just backstabbed twice. I didn't proc it. Look at that. I have my omen of harm and my omen of fatality. That's actually neat though. There it is. Omen clear casting. I feel like it was proccing. I mean, I did really good DPS there, so I'll definitely take that. This is going to be nuts, dude, because like I finally began to understand the point of omen in this spec. It's the fact that this costs 500 rage. I mean, I'm sure you guys were like, duh. It's like, yeah, I know, but I didn't take enough time to truly think about it. I've been dominating without even caring about it. But now I'm going to have like free uh, spiteful strikes constantly, dude. Like right now, I just got an omen. I have 185 rage, but I can use this anyway. That's freaking nuts. So I can do it right there. I can do it again. Like, oh my God. It's nuts that I can do it that many times in a row. Because it actually hits like a truck. It's not normal to hit this hard. Like 1000s at level 32. No crit. Okay, this is pretty good, but we're going to keep on leveling. So I had this one situation where I showed up to the Curzon cave and there was a guy with three levels on me and more gear as well, at least by lieu of the HP. And I thought to myself, well, because he has a teammate and this is actually a multi-zone, I'm not going to engage with this guy. I also mistakenly thought that he was an Iron Man. In my mind, because I thought he was an Iron Man, because he also had a teammate, I kind of figured that he would just let me go and I let him go and 
you know, maybe we meme with each other, but no, he attacks me immediately. He catches me off guard and he dominates me. Now, this upsets me greatly because I wasn't even entirely sure if I was going to lose that fight had I actually got to start it with him, but that's how PvP works sometimes. However, never forget and absolutely never forgive. And that's exactly what I thought. I immediately ran to the closest hot spot. I started my Super Saiyan arc like Goku, right? I just started training like crazy. I got three levels super fast and I ran all the way back to the Curzon Cave ASAP with one goal in mind. I don't care if I die. I don't care if his teammate kills me. I don't care if there's mobs on me. I just want that guy to die. And this is what happened. Okay, and I got revenge. I told that guy I would not forget. I did end up dying to the mobs and his friend as well, but don't feel bad about it, to be honest with you. Oh my god, guys, I'm so happy right now. I'm so happy. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, so I'm not happy because the servers keep going down, but there's this sick copy pasta right now. It says, well, it was nice playing with you all. Ascension has lost yet another active player due to server incompetence. Don't get me the wrong way. You guys had something great going on here. It's just unfortunate that you can't fix the constant crashes on Archimond. At the end of the day, though, I'm at least glad this happened before I donated the one thousand dollars I put aside to support this project. Oh well, shit happens and life is not fair, but cheers to all of you guys on Ascension and thanks for the cheese. Catch you later. It's so cringe. It's so cringe, dude. And so I did it and everybody's reacting to it and then literally everybody's posting it. Literally everybody's posting it. It's so awesome. Listen guys, what we've curated over here is something special. The Ascension community really is awesome, you know? All right, there you go, guys. I hit level 60. I wanted to go fast for this. I think we got enough leveling at this point, right? So for once, I am actually going to select one of these and uh, it's going to be the PVE build, I guess. So this is going to give me everything I need, apparently. Look at all that. Like, I think it automatically gives it to you because I actually do have everything for the Warden build despite not selecting one of those PvE or PvP builds. But when you actually select it, it puts everything on your gear immediately as well. So that's really cool. Now, here's my favorite part, guys. Here's my favorite part. The part where, because we leveled a build draft, I get an extra prestigious cash. So I have two of these now. Let's go ahead and open these for strength, I guess. Hope that we get some stuff so we can jump into some brand new dungeons with this. Now, here's what I'll say. It's a brand new day, many days into this video, which is, uh, you know, why we're not going to be using a face cam for the rest of the video. But this is what I'm thinking about, guys. I think I might have mentioned it at the beginning of the video, but the fact of the matter is I'm thinking about doing some streaming. But I'm also just thinking about face cam playthrough type things. Like, I think about the Oblivion series, right? And I do feel like if the Oblivion series had a face cam, it just would have been better. And I just think that's true for any single player game that's like a long, long, long game, right? You can get away with it more with a multiplayer game like World of Warcraft. But even then, I feel like it adds something sometimes. Let me know what you think. I like the idea of in my videos, and we got leg plates of valor, by the way, epic. That's really good. But in my videos, occasionally throwing in the webcam, kind of like how I did in this video. Maybe sometimes based on my own personal feelings, maybe sometimes more than other times. You know what I mean? I also feel like, and I'm just going to tell you guys some personal reasons, right? I could use some excuses to take care of myself. But let me know what you think. And it's not a big deal if you guys don't like it. You will not hurt my feelings. It's what I told my members. The members liked it, but you know, if they're my members, it's because they really, really like the channel. So I had a feeling they would be okay with it. You guys are going to be more brutal and um, a little bit more mean sometimes, but you know what? That's what you have to hear. So just let me know because if it's not good, I'm not going to do it. I know what you guys are talking about when some of you say that when people add face cams to their videos and it just does not work. Yo, I've seen some of those. Like I, I watch a lot of history YouTubers or just uh, information types like academia types. And sometimes those dudes throw in face cams and it just does not work. And it's, you know, it's just like, it's just 
the format of it, you know? The history videos don't need face cams. Gaming's a tad bit different, of course, but just let me know what you think. Anyway, we're starting at max level with 46 item level. I'm selling everything right now. What I want to do for this video is just use the build draft build. Now, I am going to start getting some strength gear, obviously, and I have a plan for my next video. I'm going to go for another strength build, so all the gear we get is going to be relevant, even though this is like a one bang kind of video. <laughs> All right, let's check out how Ascension does max level cathedral. Wait, where did my abilities just go? Wait, why did all of my abilities get removed off my bar? This is sus as hell. What? Oh, I, I guess when I clicked PVE, it gave me a slightly different build. Well, I did not expect that, but that's like super awkward actually. At least it gave me some good stuff like rock biter weapon. For some reason, it gave me curse of weakness. We don't have to talk about that one. Gift of the wild. Okay. Battle shout. All right, I think I basically got everything, but that is not what I expected. Oh, it even gave me a pet. Oh, yikes. I hate pets. Stop ascension. Yo, this is actually buggy. My nameplates suddenly don't work either. What is going on with this game, dude? Everything was going good for days. And then they started having so many problems last night. All right, how do we do on the boss? How do we do on the boss? We apply rend. Blind revenge. There we go with the hunger for blood as well. We just keep spamming backstab. It should keep rend up. We blind revenge on five combo points now. We're not going to go for that low level strategy of just you know constantly one pointing it i think it's unnecessary right now just a low level thing all right we're gonna go for a baby killing spree into a normal one watch this baby killing spree wait baby killing spree oh yeah into a big one and then i have this other thing we'll look at it's called massacre apparently and that's uh allows my killing spree to be aoe basically which is pretty cool i will say that it's pretty cool we're in second place so far that's not bad for freaking 47.9 item level? That's not bad, dude. 2.4k DPS. I'll definitely take that. Yeah, this one uses different epic enchants, guys. I still have inducing trauma, but I have massacre, which allows killing spree to be AoE, like I said. And then I have uh, power of omens once again as well. I don't really remember which one it actually replaced, but maybe that's, you know, because it was not that good. Then we actually get good DPS on this guy. It'd be nice. Why am I stuck on the altar, dude? All right, here we go. Oh, crap. We're sleeping. We're going to go for a Blade Flurry in a second and then keep spamming Spiteful Strike. Blade Flurry would have been better, but they're not very close to each other. They should be, though. It'd be much better if they were for me. Go for a Spiteful Strike. 5k crit. With this odd uh, gear, that's actually nuts, dude. Blind Revenge. Another Spiteful Strike. Oh, there we go. Little baby killing spree. I do like that. It's fun to play with that. Blind Revenge. There we go. Killing spree once again. I'm assuming I just killing spree on cooldown. It just makes the most sense. In this regard, I wonder if this is a really good PvP build. Because all the killing sprees makes you untargetable, and that just sounds like completely cancerous, dude. Hunger for blood. Blind revenge. Now they're actually grouped on each other. Okay, Mograin just died. Mograin has fallen once again. Damn, I'm low on energy. I feel like I can make this build so much better. I actually ran out of stacks. Can you believe that? Okay, she's gonna die. Well, hey... At least we came in second place DPS on that overall. Fiery Bash. When you shield bash, it does fire damage, basically. That's really freaking cool. Oh, look at that. We got a drop. Oh, it's an Agi dagger, though. You're not going to find many strength daggers, right? It has to be a full AP. But that's still better than Sentinel's Blade. I'll take that. Think about how low my damage was with a freaking Sentinel Blade. Level 38, dude. Yeah. So, I mean, even if that's Agi, that's way better. This is pretty cool. White Mane Chapeau. Heroic right now. Bright Spark Gloves. Cool stuff drops, dude. And I somehow won basically all of it. Oh, wow. When you select the PvE build draft, it keeps the enchants on every piece of gear. So it's not till you go free pick that it doesn't do that. So you can keep switching out gear and you don't even have to worry about the enchants. Wow, I really like that. That's actually nice quality of life. Okay, let's queue for some more, guys. Let's queue for some more. This time the UI won't be messed up. And we could check out more Scarlet Monastery and see how Ascension does it. How do I feel about Cathedral? It was easy, you know, super easy. I'm sure it's a little bit harder on M plus and Mythic, but we'll get there. But let's try the other ones now. Okay, S. Them armory we can check out how armory works now all right guys let's begin so i'm gonna go for a massacre real quick so this is the killing spree it's hitting more targets than it looked like it hit uh, apparently according to this enchant let's see if we can make some lesser ones happen as well spamming spiteful strike nice let's just go for rends on everybody if we can as well get these combo points go for a blind revenge it is aoe i actually think we should be using the blade flurry as well I am disarmed immediately, of course. Okay, nice. Spiteful Strike hitting more than one target, though, with that Blade Flurry up. That is nice. I keep getting disarmed. This is absolute AIDS for melee, dude. Literal AIDS. Blind Revenge once again. Can I get a, uh, a big one off here? A big uh, lesser killing spree? Right here? Nice. See how it hit everybody? So I think the Epic Enchant works with this. That's pretty sick. So we're able to bring that DPS up a bit. Another one right here into a Massacre. See how it's doing all that extra damage? That's really cool. 
no, uh, into a blind revenge right there. Big AoE. This is not too bad. You know, I do think this is going to be pretty good once we get more gear. But it's just a matter of time, you know what I mean? The thing is, like, the league is going so fast. People are already doing raids and stuff. So I guess I'm supposed to just, like, jump in a raid and get free gear real quick. I guess that's the point. Ooh, look, first place at the end there. But, like, I like to enjoy it. But here's the thing, guys. At the end of this league, I believe Chapter 3 comes out and TBC comes out as well. Now, this is a big deal because they're going to take everything they learned from this league, including your feedback, and they're going to give us something that's apparently going to be even better than League 4. And despite what people think, and most people are pretty positive on League 4 right now, it's important to keep in mind that this was apparently, according to Ascension, the biggest ever of any launch they've ever done. And Season 7 was massive, dude. Season 7 was insanely big. Season 8 was also insanely big. And it was also the biggest, I believe, in Season 8 as well. They just keep breaking records, you know? Now, do they retain the population? I guess not. I don't know. I really don't know. All I know is they keep breaking records. There's a Massacre right there, by the way. Are about to be up on Herod. I do want to see if he drops that Herod's uh, axe. I just want to see what that looks like. I can't use it on this guy, but I do want to use it someday. It'd be nice. Or just to see it, to be honest with you. Dude, I'm actually first place and pumping really hard now. This is so enjoyable. The rend isn't too good from pull to pull, but when you can actually get a blind revenge off on a nice stacked up uh, amount of mobs, it's actual pog, dude. Dude, we're dominating. Holy crap. Okay, here's the boss. Let's reset, even though I'm in first, because I want to make sure I get an accurate understanding of my single target DPS. Hunger for blood, because I had both rand up and I had the deep wounds. That's a 10 second hunger for blood. Spamming spiteful strike whenever I get a proc moment of clarity. And uh, that one epic enchant for Omen is just doing its own thing, you know? Like, I don't have to think about it. It's all passive as far as I'm aware. But we'll keep doing this. Go for another blind revenge right here. Into a backstab. So they have some weird pet synergy and stuff. I do feel like I could make this build a lot better. We have the uh, death wish up as well. He's using Whirlwind, but he's attackable. I think typically he's supposed to be immune. There's a little baby, by the way. A little baby killing spree. Here's the big one right here. Into a blind revenge. Come on, let me have one more. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get one more. Okay, we did not come in first on that. I do think it's because I messed up, though. But it's okay, we came in second. Raging Berserker's Helmet. That's a biggie. Wind scale Sarong. Okay, I'll greet on that. If you look closely, it's like I would get more strength, but I lose hit rating, crits... Maybe this is actually better. The strength in the armor pen might be better than the hit rating. I doubt it, but you know what? I just want to go for a Raging Berserker's helmet. Damn it, I didn't win anyway. All that deliberation for nothing. Okay, listen up, guys. I put a slightly different version of this spec in my Discord if you want a no-pet version of it. Very simple. I just got Capacitor Totem. Just, you know, you could slap any AoE stun that you want. Shockwave, I guess, might be better. It doesn't really matter. Take one point out of the thing they use for pets. I put it in Cruelty. They already had one point in Cruelty, so now it's 2% crit, 2% strength. They also had three points in... Uh, uh, armored to the teeth if you have a lot of plate strength gear that's still gonna be good But I don't yet so I took that out and for now I just went for slaughter from the shadows just because I was looking for something to reduce the energy cost of backstab and uh, that's minus 10 for that So that's you know fine, but again, I would switch back if I had better gear So okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and do the giveaway for this video I'd like to do a lot more if you want to see more flesh ripper Let me know otherwise I'm gonna start working on a brand new build that's strength based for the next video But anyway, like I said, let's go ahead and do the giveaway All right guys picking the winner and there we go Frankie Galagos, really enjoying watching you this league. Keep it up. In-game name, Manica. Nice, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm glad. All right, man. You won the giveaway. Grats. There's a Challenger Supporters Pack. I'm going to give you an Apprentice Writing Tome, courtesy of a viewer as well. Big shout out. Thank you, man, for that. And there you go. GG, Manica. Once again, if you want to win something, same thing. Leave your uh, in-game name in the comment section below, and I'll send it to you if you win in the next video. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comment section below and like the video, and also consider subbing if you're not already. Like I said, don't panic if the cam is not something that you think should be a normal thing on the channel, but I need to test some new things to be completely real with you guys, because private server YouTube is not cutting it that much anymore, so we gotta make some changes, you know? Anyway, if y'all enjoyed, like I said, do what you gotta do. I'll see you in the next one, though. McDoubles out. <laughs>